This is for everybody that wants to become a nurse, that is a nurse, that is a student at the moment. I just want to give you some little tips and pointers. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Nursing with Ingrid. Straight off the bat, I'd just like to say thank you very much to all my new subscribers. I absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. Thank you for enjoying the videos. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the interaction that we're having. I absolutely, absolutely love and appreciate it. Right, guys, um, I would like to come out and ask you guys, first and foremostly, for those of you that are considering the nursing field or the nursing profession, I want you to find out or to, to ask yourself, what is it about nursing that you like? Because the answer to that question is going to be paramount to your success, to your longevity and to your staying power within the nursing curriculum as you go through it. Because like I've said in my previous videos, if you haven't watched any of them, please, I would advise you to go back and watch some of the videos because nursing in and of itself is very abusive. Nursing in and of itself is very taxing. Nursing in and of itself is very, very exhausting. Now, once you've realized exactly why you want to become a nurse, it makes it a little bit easier to um, put yourself out there and I want you to be prepared for what is ahead so, of you. Before you even go into uh, researching the different colleges and universities that have the nursing program, you need to have an absolutely strong support system. The worst thing about the abuse part of it i'm going to call it abuse because that is what it is the worst part of it is that nobody is really there to support you so i know in the generation now um, some of you guys are coming in you've got families you have got other responsibilities so family support is more important to you guys than any other um, nursing student out there or potential nursing student so you need to have an absolutely strong 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 supports a network that you can fall back on when things get a little bit heavy or when things get a little bit tough the nursing is long long hours as a student it's going to be exhausting it's going to be frustrating i'm going to say this on from the get-go it's going to be frustrating and that's why the reason why you want to become a nurse is the most important thing otherwise you're going to go into it six months in and you are going to leave and that would have been a waste of six months of your life you need to have time management skills because in and of itself the curriculum is very intense at the same time and you are required to do your hours in the clinical setting so you need to be able to manage your time when it comes to studying i would advise you that once you start and once you're in the program you need to read every single day and I am serious about this. You need to read every single day about the curriculum or the subjects that you are currently studying within that semester or within that um, uh, trimester. It depends on which program you go into. If you go into a, a, a nursing college as opposed to going into the university space. So you need to have good time management skills and in that time management skills, you have to make time to read every single day. Be it in your lunch time, be it in a break time, be it in the afternoon before you go to bed, but you have to, you have to read every single day. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I am not one of those learners that learn from um, lectures. I it's very difficult for me to learn uh, from a lecture itself I generally read a textbook from cover to cover 
you need to be mentally and emotionally mature in order to understand different cultures that come into the workplace and the cultures that also come in with regards to your patient dynamics because that is going to either make your life a little bit easier or it's going to make your life a little bit difficult so you need to understand each culture and that is predominantly where the um, the so-called abuse from patient comes from because the patient is now projecting their culture on you because you want to do your job unfortunately it goes against their culture so you've got to be very sensitive to culture when it comes to thinking of nursing understand different cultures and also when it comes to culture um, the last rites they are different in and of themselves and they are very you've you've got to be sensitive to especially that part of nursing another thing you need to know is that the workload as a student nurse is nothing short of horrendous it is horrendous because you are basically basically as a student i need you guys to understand this that as a student you will be doing anything and everything under the sun you will take uh you will take orders from the staff nurses i believe that terminology and that qualification is falling away as of end of this year um, but you will be taking uh, orders from everybody that doesn't want to do a particular procedure so that is one thing you also have to accept before you go into nursing otherwise you are going to be very disheartened you are going to be very uh, upset most times you're gonna feel like you are being victimized whereas it's just the nature of the way nursing is not all nurses are like that please you need to understand that from the get-go not all nurses are like that not every single one of us are like that there are some that will support you and please be aware that there will be some that will be rude to you because you're a student and when you get that kind of um, response from another human being you have got to bear in mind that it is coming from a place that has got nothing to do with you at all I know that as young ladies or young gentlemen you might not find that very um, acceptable but you need to be aware of it and you need to be able to have a game plan on how to overcome that kind of situation when you encounter it and I pray to God that most of you never ever encounter it but it's highly unlikely that that's going to happen so that is something that I really need you guys to take into cognizance as well now that I've scared you enough <laughs> I hope I haven't and I but I hope that I am making you I'm helping you make an informed decision at the end of the day we don't want nurses or we don't want students that are going to come in and then they're going to drop out of the course that is sad like share and subscribe do the most do whatever you can to keep this channel moving and growing and you will get more content like this take care god bless bye bye